Hey guys, Coach Sue with Physique Development here. And a common question I get with clients is when to know if you should utilize lifting straps or a lifting weight belt while you're training. And I think that it is really, really situational within that. So when it comes to grip strength, that's something common I hear is people saying, oh, I'm stronger than my grip. They can lift more with their legs, with their body than their grip allows them. And within that, they want to turn to what wrist straps or versa grips or something of that matter. Now, I personally do use versa grips, but I try to really use them at times where I'm at my heaviest lifts. Because when we're looking at grips, we do want to build our grip strength. When we're looking at lifting as a whole, we also want to see how that translates over to everyday living. So when you are shoveling, when you're using something that's using your grip, you're not going to have grips with you. You're going to have to use your brute grip there. So we want to think about the translation and also thinking about what goes into your grip strength. So your fingers, your forearms, your biceps, um, your palms are all going to go into your grip strength. And so we can work on strengthening that with different exercises. We can do something like a wrist uh, curl to make sure we're strengthening our wrists. We can do stuff like farmer's carries where you're holding the weight and walking. You can do stuff with a towel and wringing out the towel and trying to get it. There's also, you can use stress balls to work on your grip strength or using a spring-loaded grip strength worker thingamajig <laughs> to be able to increase your grip strength. Um, now again, the biggest thing with that is being able to in improve your grip strength to improve your overall strength, uh, but also to not rely on grips or on a belt to be able to lift. Um, so there is a time where I turn to Versa grips and I enjoy using them on those heavier lifts because I can lift more than my actual grip. But being able to build up a grip is very, very important. Now another thing I see people do is a mixed grip because they feel like they have better control of that. Now a mixed grip is great to use, but when you're going for a certain aesthetic goal, unless you're constantly switching where that mixed grip is, it can cause imbalances. Now when we're looking at a lifting belt, it's going to be the same thing where you don't want to rely on it. It is very helpful on those heavier lifts. And the point of a lifting belt um, is wearing it around your uh, waist will help take the pressure off your low back for those heavier loads. Pressing your abdomen against that weight belt will help build more inter-abdominal pressure and can be really Really beneficial for those heavier lifts to make sure you're not injuring your low back. But it is something where you do want to build up that core strength, you do want to build up that lower back strength, so you're not completely reliant on it, but you can utilize these as all tools in a toolbox, not just something you turn to when lifts get a little bit harder, but being able to improve your strength as a whole and then being able to utilize those. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any other questions or want to check out any other videos, give us a look at physiquedevelopment.com.